So a really super long time ago, I made this tiny Lego house, and this house had everything. It had a bathroom, it had a bedroom, and even a kitchen. Kind of gets me hyped thinking about it. So I wanted to do the same thing, but this time I made not just one small house, but multiple. So anyway, boys and girls, let's see what we got. <laughs> So what inspired me was the show called Living Big in a Tiny Home. And basically, it's a series of interviews with people that live in small houses, whether it be a Volkswagen bus or a tiny log cabin. So I want to make these houses very simplistic, but detailed at the same time. This first house is modern. The walls have a slant to them, so it allows for the roof to be supported, at least this side, which hangs over a little bit more. Around the entire house, there's lots of windows, which is very common in modern architecture. Natural light is a great thing to have in a house. For the very top, I just have a sideways building technique, and if you take it off, as well as the side wall, we have access to the inside. So for the inside, I don't have everything a house would necessarily need, but inside is a bed, as well as a table where you can do your business work or eat, and there's even a coat rack, and then also a bookshelf just to read some books and keep yourself entertained. How do you guys like this build? Is it spicy, as we like to call it here on the TD Bricks Network? But um, anyway, this next build I'm about to show you is the opposite of modern. For this next build, boys and girls, let's go to Spicy Taco Land. Taco Tuesdays in the air, boys. Well, I'm recording this video on a Tuesday, so I'm just smelling those tacos downstairs in the kitchen right now. Well, just kidding, I don't really cook tacos. But I wanted to build something that has a Spanish, just a Spanish essence to it. So here is a Spanish-style house. This is an adobe house, very common down south. I love these houses because of the simplicity. And they also have these wooden beams sticking on the very top. I'm not sure why. I think it's just for structural support and looks. And it's a common style to make your doors look pretty. So in this case, I wanted to make a sky blue door and a dark blue frame. So together the colors just pop. If you take the roof off and this back wall, you can see the inside. It's very simple. It's just like a small meeting house. There's a table where people can socialize, have a drink or two. And it's common in these types of houses to have something on the very top. So there's just a small garden here with a half dead flower because, you know, out in Mexico it gets very dry. But anyway, this was a really fun build. And this house is only like an 8 by 12 space so pretty cool now if you stayed this far into the video Prada to you G but because you've stayed this far I want to award you with some of grandma's fresh baked cookies I'm not talking about those disgusting oatmeal raisin ones frick those nobody likes those cookies we all know that those nice chocolate chip cookies where the outside is crispy and the inside is chewy but yeah that's basically what I have for you right now ladies and gentlemen because here's a scrap build so here is this floating Japanese style house something that you'd find like in a Zen garden I feel like compared to the other houses, this one's a little bit larger, which is why I kind of scrap. But I noticed Japan focuses a lot on geometry. I included some circular windows on the side, and then for the roof, it's double layered. It just kind of adds some more three dimension to the build. But I mean, again, this was a scrap build, but I wanted to show it anyway, because why not? It's not going to hurt. If you guys feel hurt, then you can sue me or uh, dislike the video. Anyway, there you go, boys and girls. Those were the, uh, I guess you could say the three house designs. These were all very small scale. Which one was your favorite? Tell me in the comments. At the time you're watching this, I'm on vacation, and I'm not sure yet if I hit 100K, but if I hit 100K, I'm gonna take a week break. I need some time to rest. I've been nonstop grinding. You know your boy. So anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching, boys and girls. Stay spicy. Peace out.